I am here with our resident HP latex print and cut expert, Paul Wagner. And Paul was describing to me a more professional way to evaluate the blade depth on the cutting head. Now, I use my uh, goofball way of taking a credit card and then taking the credit card and determining the depth of the blade. And I even made a video showing how to do that. Well, Paul has explained to me that there's a better way to do this. And the reason it's important, it's very important that you don't let your blade stand out too much. And if you let it stand out too much, two things happen. You use a necessary amount of the blade, it dulls the blade quicker, and then it also probably dulls the, you know, the, uh, the control, it affects the control, the, uh, the cut strip. And you want your cut strip and your blade to last as long as possible. The problem with a credit card method is, all the medias are different thicknesses, and a credit card is a uniform thickness. And all the medias, you might have a 3 mil vinyl, you might have a 5 mil vinyl, a laminate, and so you want to adjust that blade accordingly. And Paul is here to show us the right way to do it. So Paul, I'm going to hand this over to you, and we're going to listen to what you have to say, how you get that dialed in. All right. Thank you, Tim. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the blade, we're going to uh, begin with it um, in where we where we certainly have some blade extension. Now, in my experience, what I've found is a lot of times people have way too much blade sticking out. This is not a Ginsu knife. We don't, we don't need a big, giant steak knife here to cut vinyl or even laminated vinyl with. So we're going to get it. You can start off with using Tim's credit card approach, and that's fine. But then what you want to have is, a, is a, ideally a scrap piece of vinyl handy. And, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our piece of vinyl. This could be laminated or not laminated. In this case, it's just regular old. Uh, calendared vinyl. We're going to kind of shape that in the shape of an S. We're going to make it basically three layers deep and then fold it onto itself sort of like this and then sort of flatten it if you will. So we've now got a three ply layer of vinyl with on its backing paper. With our knife what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to now press with a good amount of force and attempt to cut through through the vinyl, right? And what we're looking to do, especially if we're doing perf cuts, we, we certainly want to make sure the, the first layer is being cut because otherwise you don't have enough knife extension to even pass through that first layer. Ideally, though, we don't want the second ply to be a, having a cut like this or the third ply, right? And that would tell us our knife is dialed in. So what if we did see another cut in that same shape here on the second ply and even the third ply? And I've seen that many, many times. As Tim said, the problems that with that is you're going to be cutting up your cutter protection strip very, very prematurely in that case. So what we're going to do, if we were to see that in this test, we would simply back off. We would basically turn this silver component in a counterclockwise direction. That's going to retract the blade and then come back and run that test a second time and see if we get a better result, right, until we get it dialed in. So it's a very simple might take us two or three minutes to do this procedure, but at that point we know we have the proper amount of blade extension dialed in and calibrated to the thickness of our material. Paul, honestly that's a much better system than the one I'm using because it doesn't account for all the different thicknesses of the material. This counts for the material specifically and really gets that blade to just the right height and getting the blade to the right height is really your baseline foundation for all of your print and cut, at least as far as the, where the knife hits the material. Well, thank you very much. I think that's what we were looking for. My pleasure, Jeff.